Laurel Hill Cemetery. We just did the car show. Voted for the car show. I introduced everyone's favorite jewels to uh, Adrian Balboa. I never realized how bizarre that relationship was when it started. But here in Laurel Hill Cemetery, they had this awesome museum and they had this display. I made a video here a few months ago, but for some reason, GoPro just likes to make videos upside down. Shut the door, we don't live in the barn, shut the door. Oh, your mom's coming. So in here, they have a display of all the people who passed away. And these are like the famous people who are buried here. Uh, yeah, all these people. But to me, this here, they have a little tribute. Harry's buried in the back. If you come in, right when you come in, they have, remember in 09, when the Phillies went to the World Series, these shoes and that jacket were inside the Phillies dugout. And there, there's, there's his notes and his scorecards, his glasses, his shirt. There's some bobbleheads. Now, every time the Phillies win a game, they play. These are all the proclamations he had done. What? Oh, it's, it's not a real ball. This is a Celebrezzi's pizza box. This is the best story about Harry and Richie. Uh, whenever the games would get late and they needed to uh, get some food, they would say, uh, I wonder what Celebrezzi's has. And uh, they would, they would uh, send them a free pizza. And at one time, uh, the Philly said, you got to stop saying sell a breezy pizza. They're not paying for advertising. So Richie Ashburn, like it was a double, it was a double head. They're going into extra innings. So Richie Ashburn said, I want to say happy birthday to the twins, plain and pepperoni sell a breezy. And 15 minutes later, a pizza was there. And that tells the story of that. And I just rambled. But that's it. That's all of Harry Callis' stuff. And, and there's even more at uh, Citizens Bank Park. Maybe I can make this a two-parter. Who knows? Who cares? All right, we're out of here. Toodles.